An enemy threat has developed close at hand. The battalion must get into action in haste. The alarm is given. Speed, more speed. Take this message. Waste no time. The wires buzz with orders. Out of turmoil, quickly, in split seconds, comes the slick working of an army oiled up for action. But don't get worried. Today, it's just a day in the life of an army practicing for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, you have a guess. Goodbye parade ground, said these New Zealand soldiers not so long ago. And here they are, down to business with the best equipment we can give them. Goodbye the tin soldier. Here's the steel armored car instead. War began to look more real to New Zealand not so long ago. Now here's a real army, an argument with a point if anybody wants to argue. Clear the roads, watch the crossings, the army's on the way. All this, Mr. Man out there in this theater and your wife, all this is just over the fence from your place. Those are your husbands and sons and brothers making the shape of an army just beyond your backyard. Hello, something funny there. What's under those trees? A gun. At the moment, a nice peaceful sort of gun that only fires a mock shell with an imaginary noise. But somebody's going to be on the wrong end of that gun someday. Then that gun and a lot of others like it won't look so docile. Give us the tools, they said, and we'll do the job. Now they're getting the tools and we know they'll do the job. Battles aren't polite anymore. They make a lot of noise. This platoon commander uses a megaphone. Behind him, radio and telephone keep the news on the move. Contact must be maintained. Orders must go clearly and quickly. Communications, information, that's how we fight wars now. It's 5% brawn and 95% brains. Wars are science and an art. It's cruel and it's crazy. But they started it and by the Norwest wind, we'll finish it. That's our army. This is just one day, but they're there all day and they're there right now. They are right on the job. Mm -hmm.